Uh, hi guys, uh, today we are going to look at a problem. Compress the string using the counts of repeated characters. So if this is the input uh, a a b c c c c a a a so the output should be like a two times and b is one time c is four times and a is three times. So this is what the uh, output should return and uh, if the output string is greater than the input string length then return the input string length. So like why we are doing this like if this is an input and uh, what would the compressed string would bring in like a1, b1, c1 and a1 right. So if you see this compressed string is length is greater than the input string so there is no point in compressing it so then you uh, return the actual string. Uh, so this is the problem and the solution uh, like I am thinking of is so start from the first character like the convert the string into a character array uh, take the first character and compare it with the second and if it is same uh, I'm going to have one more count variable and I'm going to increase that count variable and uh, uh, if I see a different character then I would just add whatever the count I know the count is 2 here and uh, the value is a I'm going to and then I'll make the count to 0 and I am going to continue till the end of the character length. So this is the uh, solution that I am thinking of. For this the time complexity would be n because I am starting from the first character till end. So this would be the best solutions that we can think of. And uh, like let's go to the uh, code quickly. So I have written a compressed string uh, method so which takes a inputs uh, like string input and uh, have this is like a uh, test case scenarios like uh, if it is null throw some exception the input and if the length is lesser than two there is no point right if it is like one uh, if you they are returning just only one character then why we have to do this compressed right so that is the reason I have um, I'm not considering this scenario if it is only one character uh, I'm throwing uh, like not a valid input and uh, if I'm going to convert here as I said I'm going to convert this uh, input string into a character array and uh, I'm going to have a, a previous variable so which hold, uh, holds the character of the previous uh, and I'll have a count in a variable and the output string. So this is all my uh, variables declaration so here where the actual coding is starting um, so start with uh, 1, I'm, I'm not starting with 0 if you see it because I have taken the previous character uh, into the previous, the i of 0 I have taken into the previous character. So I'm starting the loop and if the previous element, I know the previous element is a. So if the a is now the i, right, if it is a is equal to a, then increase the count. So the count is like 2, right. So we have to initialize here count actually. So increase the count. So it is 2 and then uh, okay next loop it will go. So B uh, and uh, the previous character is A there. Previous is A and the current is B character. So we check if uh, A equal to B not then we come here. So then we, our, we are uh, concatting the output string. So the output currently it is empty, is an empty string. So we are just concatting uh, uh, like the previous character. The count is 2. This is count. So it is 2 and the previous character is A. And we are initializing the count again to 1. So it is going to uh, go back here. And uh, it is going to check next to the C. So here the previous is B and uh, the current equal to c and we know the ca count is 1. So we are going to check if uh, b is equal to c, it's not, then it's going to come here, it's going to contact the output. So current output is 2a, so 2a and uh, the count is 1, 1 and the previous element is b. So this is how it's going to end till the uh, length. So the, uh, like if you closely watch, I have written this output plus equal to con plus previous. After this if else condition out of the for loop, right? I have written it here. So the uh, why this is is because I have uh, having a condition of changing. If there is any change in the character, 
then you are going to add uh, the concat string right so I, if it comes to this last uh, a if we are in this a condition so it will keep adding this uh, count character it will never uh, enter into this else condition it will just come back so if you don't add this uh, line so the output would be just uh, the output on be a2 b1 c4 so this would return only this element it won't return this a3 uh, because there is no change in character, right? So we, whenever there is a change in character, that's where we are concatting the output. So for that, we are just having one more line of code. And uh, this condition is just checking if the original string length, uh, uh, output string length is greater than the original string length, the compressed string and the original string, then uh, make that output equal to the original string and then return that output. So, so this is the simple uh, code. Uh, hope you understand. Thank you.